Hi, welcome back to thiskinagirl.com, the home of smart and sexy swinger advice. Today I am talking about single men in the swinger lifestyle. So if you want to go from nervous newbie to sophisticated swinger, listen up because I will be talking all about single men in the swinger lifestyle and what they can do to improve their chances of success. So, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the stigma attached to single male swingers and how you guys can overcome it and have great swinger experiences. So recently, I reached out to my followers on Instagram and I said to them, please get in touch and share with me your experiences of swinger clubs and any of your fears, doubts, questions that you have. And the response I got back was absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to share with you guys one of the questions I was sent because it's something which I think not only single males will want an answer to, but also couples as well, because it's something which I've noticed over the years, and it's definitely something which um, guys have mentioned in the past as well. Um, and also club owners have, have said to me as well, like, what can, we, what can we do about these things? So I'm gonna read out the question, okay? Dear this kind of girl, how do I deal with the stigma attached to male swingers? I think many men feel they are portrayed as greedy sex seekers lurking about in sex clubs, wanking at women. How do I deal with this stigma? I am an experienced and respectful swinger and I don't like to be tarnished with this brush. So. I'm sure you can relate to this question. I certainly have experienced guys who are like this um, in clubs I've been to and sometimes also some club owners have said to me like, why do guys act like this when they get in here? So I'm gonna give you some advice on what you can do to boost your chances and not be tarnished a, I think he said, a greedy sex seeker <laughs> lurking about in clubs. So. Firstly, we have to look at what stereotype is being conjured up. After all, why is it that some single guys portray this image of greedy sex seekers? Sadly, from my own experiences, I can say that there have been a lot of men who I have encountered who have fitted this description. These are the men who lurk in the shadows, waiting, wanking and watching women without ever saying a word to them. If you act like this, I'm afraid you will fall subject to being labelled a creepy, horny sex seeker. It's these men who sadly have given genuine single swingers a bad reputation. And unfortunately, these guys are all too common. Now, I find it quite baffling why they, because getting to some of the parties is quite hard for single guys. So. When they've got in there, why don't they boost their chances of success? I know that not all single men who act like this, um, you know, I know that not all single men act like this, okay? I know that not all single swingers act in this way and they don't deserve to be tarnished in the same brush. So how do we change this stereotype? What you need to do, guys, is rise above it and demonstrate to couples that yes, you're a swinger, yes, you're a single guy, but no, you're not horny and desperate to have sex with everyone and anyone. You have standards and you're willing to jump through a few hoops in order to attend a party. You can hold a great conversation. You're charismatic, you're fun, you're flirtatious. You are a real swinger catch. You are someone who people would like to meet and would like to play with. You're never going to be caught lurking outside a curtain, furiously wanking because you don't need to, because you are already involved in the action. When you are met with negative stereotypes, what you need to do is challenge them. If a single guy says to me, 
you think I'm like all the rest. Let me show you I'm different. I am instantly intrigued. If you present yourself from the offset as being a cut above the rest, as someone who knows what they want, as a man who is secure in his sexuality and is confident, how you are perceived online or an event will change dramatically. Don't act like all the other guys. Have a little bit more spark about you, more charisma, more be more bold and approach couples. Don't just sit and wait and watch and get frustrated that nothing is happening to you. Just have the confidence and dig deeper and go and make it happen. If people expect you to be one way or another, demonstrate to them you are the exact opposite. Don't let the stigma attached to other single male swingers define how you are. That is my advice I'm going to share with you today. If you want more sexy swinging advice, head over to thiskindofgirl.com and subscribe to my channel where you will find all my latest videos. I shall see you there.